Hi, so today I'm making herby chicken tenders. I've been getting a lot of questions and requests to do a little bit more with some with chicken and I tend not to actually cook and eat a lot of chicken. So I thought, well, let me just see if I can find some really fun and easy and simple recipes for you to do, especially to use um, through the summer, you know, which is as things get a little bit warmer, we're looking for things that might be a little bit healthier. So today is going to be herby chicken tenders. I think you're going to love it. My name is Judy Matuski and I'm a registered dietitian with Athens Nutrition as well as a culinary nutritionist. So I'm happy to be, be here today. I missed you last week. I was hoping to do another chicken dish for you on Facebook Live, which was going to be a roasted, like a marinated yogurt uh, chicken that's roasted in the oven. It's absolutely fantastic. I will bring that to you. Um, I just have to figure out when I'm going to put that on the rotation. So today it's all about these herby chicken tenders. So let's talk a little bit about it. So I went ahead, I, you know, I, I was looking at, I know you were all on the same boat as far as the, you know, looking at prices at the supermarket and the chicken tenders were just so expensive and they actually happened to have chicken breast, boneless, skinless chicken, chicken breast on sale. So I bought two pounds, no, three pounds of package of the chicken breast. So what I did ahead of time is I just took the chicken breast and I sort of sliced them as best I could into sort of like the chicken tender shape. So um, these are sort of sliced chicken breast. Now this recipe does ask you to marinate the chicken for about 30 minutes to an hour. So because I have double the amount of chicken, so the recipe calls for a pound and a half of chicken tenders and I have almost three pounds, I already went and made the marinade, one batch of the marinade, so I could let these sit and marinate a little bit before um, I came on live. And I'm gonna make that the, the second batch of the marinade with you so you can see how simple and easy it is. So it just is a few ingredients. And what I love about um, doing this now is because if any of you are gardeners, you're getting some fabulous herbs in your garden, and we are as well. So we've got, I've got some great um, parsley, and I have some purple basil, and some other and regular basil. I have some dill um, and some mint. So the recipe calls for a combination of like, you know, three different herbs. It really can be any herb you have, or it could just be parsley. Um, because I have so many herbs I'm growing right now, I'm just gonna mix them all together. And it, you know, again, with recipes, you have amounts, they're just calling for a couple of tablespoons of these herbs. I, I just never measure herbs, quite frankly. I just have a whole bunch that I threw together here. Like I said, this is purple basil, regular basil, um, dill, and mint. And I did have some oregano that I had picked for something else yesterday. So I put the fresh oregano in my, my, that first round of the marinade, but I just didn't have any more inside and I just didn't feel like going out to the garden to pick more. So I just used the herbs that I had in my freezer. So like, like I always mention, you know, when you're doing your herbs, just put them all together as best you can into a nice little bundle just to make it a lot easier to chop. So it's really simple. So everything's just gonna be mixed together in, um, in a bowl. And then you'll put your, then your chicken will marinate with this, um, all these ingredients for about 30 minutes to maybe an hour. You can certainly do it overnight. Um, it's up to you, but, whoops. Um, and even if you didn't have time to marinate, it would still be delicious. But you just get a little bit more tenderness um, and a little more flavor into the chicken if you let it marinate. All right, so this is, you know, several different herbs. Now, I'm, I'm not going to use this whole batch in this marinade because I want to save a little bit. I'm going to I'm gonna make a little um, herb yogurt dip sauce that we're gonna use for the chicken tenders um, when we're done that you can use as a great little dipping sauce. Um, so I'm gonna save a few herbs here off to the side just to uh, be able to use those in the, in the, uh, the yogurt dressing that we're gonna make. All right, so we've done, you know, we have our herbs and now we're just gonna use two different mustards. Um, so you want like a whole grain mustard that is, you know, is that has the seeds in it. I'm at the very end of my jar. It calls for two tablespoons in the recipe. I am probably just gonna use a little more Dijon because I'm actually, I use a lot of mustard. So I am getting to the end of both of these, although I have a huge, I have another Dijon. But I have about two tablespoons in here of the Dijon. I'm gonna flip it around. So I'm gonna use two tablespoons of Dijon because that's what I have more of. And with the, with, the, um, with the seeded mustard, it's probably better to do more seeded, less Dijon, just because Dijon has you know a lot of heat to it and it's a lot of intense flavor, I, I, I think. 
So you might, again, want to do double the amount of the, must, of the mustard with the whole mustard seeds and then half of the, of the Dijon. But either would work. If you only have one or the other, just use one or the other. All right, it's fine. You're just going to, we just want that for flavor. And with the, um, let me just get some of this off. I have my herbs stick into the bottom of this. Um, with the, um, with your jars, I just, again, just thinking around like the whole idea of food waste and not wasting food. If you keep your jars like this, right, with this little bit of mustard that's in here, use this to make your salad dressing. So next time you need to make a salad dressing, I mean, just put the lid back on, throw these back in the, um, in the refrigerator if you're not going to make a salad dressing right away. But I would just add some vinegar, some olive oil, a little salt and pepper, shake it all up. You've got salad dressing because mustard is such a great addition to any quick little vinaigrette. And why not just use up those jars that way? All right, so we've got our mustard. Now we're going to use um, a teaspoon of honey. <laughs> I used honey a couple weeks ago. I need to go out and buy myself some more honey. I, I don't use a lot of honey, so that is a little bit why my honey tends to get a little grainy on me. But it's about a teaspoon of honey, and you just need that just to kind of offset um, some of these, um, you know, stronger, um, more like sour um, flavors. All right, so we have the mustard, we have the honey, we have the herbs. Now, the one thing that's nice to do when you're doing something like a marinade, actually, while we're talking, let me just put my heat on. I'm going to get these. I'm going to do this on an indoor burner, um, an indoor uh, grill plate. Let me get this up. Um, oops. Oh, I'm sorry. Um, and um, you, I guess you could do these on an outdoor grill. It's just you have to be careful with them not falling through the grill slats. But if you have a grill pan, you could do these outside, especially if it's hot and you want to just cook outside by all means. You could just do this with chicken breasts too. I mean, you could. It just, um, you might want to marinate it a little bit longer to get a little more flavor into the chicken. But that would be great if you wanted to marinate that and put that out on the grill. Um, I think the chicken, a whole chicken breast or at least half a chicken breast would do better. Or chicken thighs, you could do chicken thighs as well. Um, that would work outside on the grill. Uh, but for chicken tenders like this, I usually just do them inside on my on my grill, my indoor griddle. All right, so I'm going to let that heat up a little bit. So, um, all right, so now we have the herbs, the mustards, and the honey. So we're just going to add, and I was starting to say that when it comes to using garlic, I feel like when you're using a garlic in a marinade that you're going to end up putting whatever it is you're marinating on a grill surface like this because you really want to kind of brown it up. I feel like sometimes if you're using fresh mustard, I mean fresh garlic, it can burn. <laughs> it just, ha that happens to me and there's nothing worse than the flavor of burnt garlic. So I, when I'm doing marinades, I'll often use like garlic powder instead of fresh garlic. I just think you get the flavor, but then you don't have to worry about it, anything burning. All right, so we have that. Now we're gonna use about, I'd say maybe a half of a teaspoon of salt and a little fresh ground pepper. And then you can do one of two things. I only had one lemon in my refrigerator. Normally I have, you know, 20. I always have lemons, but I'm really running low. So I used, um, I wanted to save the lemon for this. So in my first round of marinade, I just used like a red wine vinegar. You just need some acid. So if you don't have lemon, you could use lime. If you don't have lime, you could use a red wine vinegar. You could use a white vinegar. You could use an apple cider vinegar. You just need some acid, which helps with the tenderization and the flavor of the marinade. So we're going to, and again, just using everything that you can, minimizing food waste. Um, I have a, there's a dietitian, two dietitians that I follow, Deanna and, um, I'm going to, I'm going to blank on her name. Um, they are a teaspoon of spice. Uh, they have um, a website and Facebook live as well. And they have a new cookbook out called the Mediterranean um, cookbook with, a, their, it's, like, it's like, I think it might be their third book. Um, but it's really centered on food waste, you know, and, and minimizing it. And I have always believed in that as well. I love that concept when we cook. Let's try to use everything that we can. Let's try not to waste um, any kind of food. Um, and, you know, their tip is always to use the rind of the lemon for everything, even if a recipe doesn't call for it. Just zest it anyway, because you're just going to get a not nice extra lemon flavor into whatever you're making and then zest first, right? And then cut the lemon and then use the juice. So if you're looking at recipes and sometimes they're just calling for lemon juice, always zest because it's you're never gonna go wrong. You're just gonna add some great extra lemon flavor. All right, so I'm going to 
I, I don't always use a, a lemon or a, a, a juicer like this, but because again, it's always one extra thing to wash. I'm like, I can just squeeze it by hand and, I, and I'll put these things. I love the smell of my lemons in my food processor. I mean, my uh, garbage disposal. Esther, because it, I mean, my, yes, my juicer, because it does make it so much easier and you can get most of the juice. You get more of it if you're using one of these juicers. All right. So it's a whole, it's a, the, the um, juice of an entire lemon. And then the last thing that we're going to add is we're going to drizzle in about a quarter of a cup of olive oil. And I am just going to measure this, but usually, usually I tend to eyeball, but I'm trying to get a little bit better about measuring when I'm doing some of these things on, um, on Facebook Live. So um, about a quarter of a cup of an extra virgin olive oil. And then that's really, that's our marinade, all right? So just a couple ingredients, all of which I am sure, maybe with the exception of maybe the fresh herbs, you might have to pick those up or if you have them in your garden, great. Um, so that's it. So this is the marinade that we're gonna now add. I'm gonna, since I already did this once, but I, like I said, I had, the recipe calls for uh, one and a half pounds of chicken. I had three pounds, so I made this once ahead here so that that, that chicken could marinate a little bit. And I thought I would just add an extra, an extra um, round of this marinade. So I doubled the, I actually doubled the recipe for this. Okay, so this is what you would do. So you're just gonna, you know, get it together with your chicken tenders, just toss it around. And then this you can pop in the refrigerator for, you know, 30 minutes to an hour or longer or whatever overnight. Um, and then oh, it's in, I'm telling you, it really does smell really good. Those fresh herbs and the, and the um, mustard and the lemon, it just smells such a nice flavor. All right, so we've got this going. Now, you could make this vegetarian, and I have. I think the, the blog post that I put up at judymatuski.com that has the recipe, um, I use both chicken and I use tofu. And, and the tofu, I think, is in the picture. It's, it's in the, um, it's, you can see it when you go into the blog. So you would just take a block of like maybe extra firm tofu, cut it into rectangles, and then do the same thing. Just marinate it with the same marinade, and then same thing, you're gonna grill it. So tofu works really, really well. Tempeh, which is like a fermented soybean um, cake almost, it's, it's, in the, it's like in a flat rectangular shape, that would work really well too. So either tempeh or tofu if you wanna go vegetarian, which I often do, because I tend to cook that way a little bit more than I do with chicken, but, um, but certainly chicken is great. All right, so let's bring this over. I am going to just put a little olive oil on my grill surface. And then I like to use a brush just to, you know, brush it out. I'm going to turn it down. It's already smoking. Ooh. All right. So let me get a spatula. I need that. Have it. And we're going to just lay these right on the grill. And you can, that's what you want. You want that sizzle. So as you're laying your food on your hot surface, you want to hear that nice sizzle. All right, I'm going to not do all of these for now. I'm just going to throw a few of them on here. And they're going to just take a few minutes per side. Kind of splattering a little bit. I should have my fan on. All right, let me just, I'm just going to do one more. All right. So you do want that sizzle because we're going to try to, we really want to try to get these nice and brown. So let's see how they do over there. I'm going to let them sit aside. Now, this, while they're browning on the one side, let's go ahead and we're going to make this real quick um, yogurt, the yogurt dip or yogurt sauce. So I'm going to use the rest of the herbs, same herbs. So we're basically using exactly the same thing that's in the rest of, all the same ingredients that were used to make the marinade. We're going to now make uh, a yogurt sauce with the same ingredients that we have out. So a little bit of salt, a little bit of ground pepper. It's going to go back through the list. Now, since I'm out of the one mustard, I'm just going to add a little bit of Dijon to this. Maybe a teaspoon or so. All right. And then a little bit of the garlic powder. Maybe a half a teaspoon at the most. You don't need that much. Just a little bit for flavor. All right. And again, a little bit of... I, I, this is not... The rest, this doesn't have a recipe with, with the recipe that I have on the blog. I just make this up because there's really no way to mess it up. You know, maybe again, a little, like a teaspoon of honey, just to cut the, you know, the sourness from the yogurt. 
and then we're gonna do now I did because I didn't have a second lemon and I don't think I want to do um, I don't think I want to do um, 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 I don't think I want to do vinegar instead of lemon in with the yogurt so because we talked about sumac before sumac is a lemony a really nice lemony sort of Middle Eastern spice that's used in a lot of Middle Eastern dishes. It's, but it does have a nice lemon flavor. So I'm going to add maybe about a half a teaspoon of some sumac to give me that little lemon lemon hit that I would normally have a little lemon lemon zest in here and just a little bit of lemon juice. These are looking pretty good. I can just I can tell by the smell. Let me just flip these. Let me just see how we're doing. Yeah, they're brown. And look at they're getting a great grill mark even inside. So I'll show you those to you in a minute. All right. We'll put these over. So really, it's probably just a few minutes on each side. And it just depends on how hot your grill pan is. But those are grilling up really nice. I think you can probably see them. Okay. Um, let me put down. So now I'm just going to add about, I'm going to talk louder because this, they're really sizzling. Um, maybe, I don't know, a cup of yogurt. And this is just kind of eyeball it a little bit. That's probably about a cup. All right, and then I am going to drizzle in a little bit of olive oil, maybe a tablespoon. All right, now I love these little baby whisks. Um, I'm just going to whisk it together. And then this will become the sauce that we can just drizzle over the chicken when it's done. All right, and you know, taste it, see if you need to, need to add things. I usually don't taste things on camera, and I probably should, but I feel like I just like get it all over, and it's just a mess, but I'll, I'll certainly taste it after and readjust. But um, So anyway, all right, so there's your yogurt sauce. Almost all, not almost, all the same ingredients that you just used for the marinade, we're now going to use it. We just added it to some yogurt for the sauce. All right, so these are almost done. Let me just grab a plate. And... Let me get these, let me just rinse my tongs off a little bit. All right. And I think, so let me just see, I'll take a peek on this side. Yeah, these are, these are just there, especially the smaller ones. I'm going to turn it up a little bit. All right, but just let me show you. So if you just want to plate these. Now, what I do is like if you, it does call for a pound and a half, but by all means, do, do, you know, three pounds. So if you're going to serve, I would say probably, you know, three or four would be a nice serving. And then we'll just take the, the yogurt sauce and just kind of drizzle it right on top. So this can become a, whoops, a little bit of mouth there. This can become like a nice little, obviously, main course protein, rounded by, you know, lots of nice big salad and lots of roasted vegetables. You might as well grill, since you have your grill pan out, grill up some vegetables, zucchini, eggplant, um, you know, peppers, whatever you want. But your grill pan's already out, so go, why not? I'm going to turn it off because these are done. Um, now, again, like I was saying, I always grill off extra because you might have it for dinner. Maybe we will, you know, you can use these in like fajitas then. Later in the week, you can use these. I mostly make these and use them on top of my salad during the week. So when I have a salad, I'll just pop these on as my protein. Or if I'm making it with tofu, I would use the tofu the same way. So you can make a little salad out of it. You can make a salad actually from this. You can put it in fajitas, obviously, any way you would normally use chicken tenders. But these are great. So if you don't want the yogurt sauce, you certainly could use another kind of dipping sauce. And I think you're, if you have kids in the house, I think they will really like these. And especially if they want to dip them in ketchup, that's fine too. But um, maybe, you know, a little more adult, we could use the, um, the herby yogurt dressing. So uh, again, give these a try. I am going to try to bring you a few more poultry-based um, recipes just for this month, for the month of June. So next week, I think we're going to be doing some ground chicken or ground turkey in um, lettuce cups, which are really, it's kind of fun, it's fun for the summer. And then I'm going to try to see if I can squeeze that, that um, it's like an herby yogurt marinated roasted chicken, which is probably one of the best roasted whole chicken recipes that I've ever come across. It's so incredibly flavorful and really juicy. You can either roast the chicken whole or you can butterfly it. I don't, I'm debating which what I might want to do. 
or in the summer you could put it on the grill, especially if you do, um, you know, cut the chicken and, and, and you know, kind of s spread it out um, and so that you have it like a flat chicken. Um, I'm just blanking on the name of it. I'm calling it butterfly, but it's really not. A spatchcock, to spatchcock the chicken. All right, so here we go. All right, so we have those chicken tenders. If you have a lot of fresh herbs, which hopefully you do, because I'm always saying have fresh herbs available in your refrigerator because it makes things taste so much better. I, as always, give this a try. Share the video. If you have friends and family that you think could really benefit from some of these healthy cooking tips, please share, please like, please let us know. We always are looking forward to feedback from you and we appreciate it. So enjoy the week, stay well. Remember, cooking is a very, is a very powerful health behavior. See you next week.